Hi guys, this is Sharon Teacup all the way from Finland and this is my third video on the subject of singing and playing at the same time. And uh, you're probably wondering, what the hell man, it was already a year ago that you posted your last video. Well yeah, that's true, and I'm sorry I didn't get to it any sooner, but hey, here I am. And in this video, I'm gonna be focusing on Creeping Death by Metallica. Uh, it's one of the more popular requests on, you know, which song to do in one of these videos. And uh, when I think about it, it's, it's actually quite the natural progression from That Was Just Your Life on Black End. Uh, if you think about Black End and That Was Just Your Life, you know, the way they were presented in the last two videos, you notice that those two songs, they were quite aligned, you know, with, you know, vocals and guitars, you know, pick strokes like, you know, Black End is Indiana, Winter Wars, or Like a Siren in My Head, I'd always tend to repeat, like a fine man that was trying to do speedy drivers. Yeah, you know, you see things are happening right there, you know, with the P strokes and you know how the riff goes. Well, in Creeping Death, you know, things get very misaligned and uh, I gotta tell you, it took me a long time to learn to sing and play the song at the same time, you know, back in the day when I was, you know, learning to do it. But uh, I got to it eventually and therefore I'm able to make this video for you. So, without longer ado, let's take a look at the first verse. If you pay any attention, you notice that you know I'm removing my finger from the fret every now and then, you know, on the first parts. And the reason is that when I sing and play at the same time, it actually makes it easier to do. Like slaves, he brings back to cellar, to the payroll, and it's because you know. Uh, you know, you're palm muting for most of the time, but you know, when you do the open ring thing, then you know, you push down the strings, and when you palm mute, you have nothing there. And uh, it actually helps to emphasize, you know, where the riff goes, and it's easier to, you know, keep it going under the vocals. And uh, James Hetfield does that, and that's where I took it actually. You know, originally when I learned the song, I just wanted to do the like slaves, inverse problems, to the general. But, you know, it was actually more difficult like that. But anyway, let's take a look at the riff again. It goes like this. And that's how the riff goes. And the vocals go like this. Slaves, Hebrews, born to serve, to the Pharaoh, he to his every word, live in fear. You probably notice that there's a lot of syncopation going on in there, which means that, in this case, the lyrics uh, the singing happens pretty much most of the time on the upbeat, like, you know, downbeat, you know, is the actual, you know, metronome stroke, one, two, three, four. So, the vocals go like this, slaves, peepers, born to serve. Now, if you notice, a lot of the syllables, they appeared when my finger was up, and that's the upbeat. Slaves, Hebrews, born to serve. In the name of honesty, knowing that, that that's not going to help you too far. So, this is one of those songs that you actually have to, you know, sit down and learn. And James Hetfield himself says that, you know, he, he has to sit down and learn these things. They just don't happen automatically. So, let's take a look at it. Okay. Slaves, peepers, born to serve. Slaves, peepers, born to serve. To the Pharaoh, he to his every word, live in fear. And that's pretty much it, that's how it goes. Uh, once again, you know, if it's difficult to do like that, like, you know, full long notes when you're actually trying to 
you just sing the lyrics on the riff of the first line. Then here's an idea, and I actually uh, presented this in that was just your life, and that's you know cutting the words into the smallest particles that are flown in a measure. So like space, it brings more on to serve to the pharaoh. You see, to the pharaoh. Key to his every word, living fear. And that's pretty, pretty much most of the difficulty in creating the you know, in the chorus and in the die, die, die part, you know, uh, that is pretty much happens, you know, with the pig strokes. Okay, let's see, let's see about the chorus now. So it goes like this. So let it be written. So let it be done. I'm sent here by the chosen one. So that's pretty much it. You know, you're playing these long notes and then you're singing on that. Just that's pretty much all there is to the chorus part of Creeping Dead. And as for the die 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 part, let's listen to it. Okay, as you notice, that's pretty much all boring, you know. Hey, the swings whenever you say something. So, die by my hand. I creep back across the land, killing firstborn man. Die by my hand. I creep back across the land. Killing first for man. And you probably notice a small bit of syncopation there. I creep back across the land. I creep back across the land. See? And that's pretty much everything there is to creeping death. I was also once uh, you know given a request about seek and destroy. Well, it goes pretty much like black and black. Standing in the sea, in the city tonight, looking for you to start up a fight. Running on our way, party, you will pay, die, 1,000 deaths. Searching, seek and destroy. Okay, so I actually did two songs for you, so I hope you enjoyed it and, and I hope you actually benefit something from this video. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.